Hi there and welcome to the Uke Stuff channel and welcome to this tutorial for Sunday Best by Surfaces. This was a song that was recently brought up in one of my classes by one of my fourth grade students. We were talking about what song students love and they brought this song to my attention and I wanted to make sure that I made a play along of it. Now what we're going to do with this tutorial is first of all we're going to look at the chords you need for G, C, E, A, ukulele, that's soprano, concert or tenor ukulele. Then we're going to look at the chords you need for baritone, D, G, B, E, ukulele, and then I'm just going to give you a strumming pattern idea to work with if you want to try it. I just want to remind you that there are chapters so you can follow along on the bottom of the screen jumping to things that matter to you. I understand that if you're on mobile, YouTube, just as this is being recorded, is enabling also a drop-down list that you can check out, and you can also find those uh, actually referenced in the description below. And if you like the chords and how this is laid out, you can actually find the tabs or chord chart for the song at ukutabs.com. Ukutabs is a collaborator with this channel. All right, let's take a look at the chords you need for G, C, E, A, soprano, concert, or tenor ukulele. And I'll be using the Enya Nova U Mini. It's their soprano, it's a carbon fiber and polycarbonate mix ukulele that's relatively new on the market. All right, so there are really only four chords in the song, although I did add a extra chord at the very end. You'll see it if you play through the song. The first chord you need is the A minor seven on GCA ukulele, that's pretty simple. Nothing needs to be held down with the left hand. The second chord you need is the D minor seven. What you're gonna do is make a D minor chord. That's really the thing that you wanna get for sure. Even if you get nothing else, get the D minor chord, and then add your pinky where you normally play the C chord on the first string, third fret. And that's your D minor seven chord. Then your next chord is a G minor seven. For that one, you're going to bar the strings at the first fret on strings one and two. So that means you put your finger across both strings and you think about pulling against the fretboard so that you're gonna launch it and then just support with your thumb a little bit on the neck. So it doesn't require a lot of force to get a clear sound out of those two strings. Then add the second finger on the third string second fret and then play all four strings. That's your G minor seven chord. And then the next chord is the B flat chord. Stay with that same G minor seven chord, but just add the third finger on the fourth string, third fret, full B flat chord. And then at the very end of the song, I threw in one C chord. And those are the chords you need for Sunday Best on G, C, E, A, soprano, concert, or tenor ukulele. Now let's take a look at the chords you need on baritone. All right, for baritone ukulele, I'll be using my Flight NUB310. This is their entry-level baritone. The NUB310 right now comes with GCEA strings. These are DGBE baritone strings, so it is tuned like a traditional baritone instrument. The first chord you need is the A minor seven chord, so make your A minor chord, and then add your pinky where um, the G chord would normally be. So first string, third fret. That's your A minor seven chord. The second chord is your D minor seven. What you're gonna wanna do is bar strings one and two right at the first fret. And that means just leaving your finger across both strings near the metal fret, but not on it. If you're on it, it's gonna sound like that. So just back it up a little bit. Think about pulling against the fretboard. That'll give you most of the force you need to make that bar or partial bar chord, but then just support with your thumb lightly on the back. And then add the second finger to the third string second fret. And that's your D minor seven chord. So your next chord is the G minor seven chord. So basically it's the same idea as what we were just doing with that partial bar chord, but you're gonna take that first finger and lay it across all four strings, not on the metal fret at the third fret, but right behind it pulling against the fretboard, and then you can add your thumb, and that will give you the force you need for the G minor seven chord. Then the next chord is the B flat chord. Um, in the particular diagram that we're using, the first finger goes on the first string first fret, second finger goes on the 
uh, third string, third fret, and third finger goes on the second string, third fret. That works. You can also go first finger on the first string, first fret, and then fingers two, three, and four on strings four, three, and two at the third fret. That works as well, if you want to give that a shot. You can also try just doing a two finger chord if you're flexible enough with your third finger. You play again that first finger on the first string, first fret, and then cover strings uh, four, three, and two at the third fret. All those will work for the B flat chord. And then the final chord you need is the C chord. And those are the five chords you need for Sunday Best on baritone DGBE ukulele. Now let's talk about strumming for the song. Now the first thing I want to say is that there is no specific right answer. There was no use of the ukulele in the original version of the song. It's a play along, so play along as you see fit. But I do want to give a strumming suggestion because that's the number one question that's asked about all the play alongs. I also put this suggestion right at the beginning of the chord chart for this song in the play along. So that's something else for you to look for if you're interested in it. So it's all about down strums and up strums and skipping certain ones and how many you put on each chord. So the first chord is A minor 7. And what you're going to do there is you're going to go down, up, down. Then you're going to change chords to the D minor 7 chord and you're going to go up, up. So, so far we've got down, up, down, up, up. Now the next thing we're going to do is to change to the G minor 7 and then we've got three ups. Up, 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 and then the B flat. We're going to go down, up, down. So if we go really slowly, it's going to go like this. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. One of the other things I like doing is letting go of the chords occasionally while I'm playing them. So I don't take my hands fully off the strings, but I just lift up. And that gives it kind of a neat feel. So try this. Oh, one, two, three, four. And really, that's the strumming pattern. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, with the chord changes. So you've got your A minor 7. D minor 7, G minor 7, B flat. And that's just repetitive through most of the song until you get the very end. I threw in a C going to B flat at the very, very end. The actual tempo here goes something like this. It's a little more relaxed than that. One, two, three. just repeats over and over and over again until the end of the song. And realistically, if you can get that strum, it's going to go along with everything you're hearing. If you hear something different, go ahead and play it. There is no ukulele police that's going to show up and tell you that you're playing it wrong. And if somebody does, just remind them that as long as you're playing the right chords at the right time and the strumming works with what you're doing, that's all that matters. All right, thanks so much for joining me on this tutorial. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon with some more Yuke stuff.